Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the design of 1 is to 8 D multiplexer using 2 1 is to 4 D multiplexer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. We need to design the 1 is to 8 D multiplexer using 2 1 is to 4 D multiplexer. We know that multiplexer is a device that having only one input. 2 to the power n output and n number of selection lines. So this is the basic structure of the D multiplexer. 1 input, 2 to the power n output and n selection lines. So here 1 input, the n is 3, 2 to the power 3, 8, 8 outputs and 3, n is 3 means 3 selection lines. Similarly here 1 input, 2 to the power 2, 4 outputs and 2 selection lines, right. So we have here three selection line here two selection lines. This selection line will decide the output having one input with n number of output is decided by the selection line. Right. Now we'll see this design step by step. Step one connect the D in this is the input only one input signal to D in input of both the multiplexer. So the input signal is given to both the multiplexers. So we are using 2 1 is to 4 D multiplexer to design 1 is to 8 multiplexer. So both the multiplexer we connected the D in signal. Input signal is connected to both the D multiplexer. Now we will see the selection lines. So there are 3 selection lines for 1 is to 8 multiplexer 3 selection line. Let us consider the 3 signals A, B, C. So this is the most significant bit. This is least significant bit. This most significant bit is used for enabled, enabling the D multiplexer. Because we have two, a 1 is to 4 D multiplexer available, we need to enable one D multiplexer at a time, another multiplexer is disabled. So the signal A is used for enabling the multiplexer. Then B and C used for a selection line. For 1 is to 4 multiplexer, we need only two selection lines. So B and C used for the selection line of the D multiplexer, both the D multiplexer, B and C. For example, B used as S1 and C used as S0, right? So the input D in is given to both the multiplexer in this among A, B, C, three, three signals in 1 is T8, we have three selection lines are there. In that, the most significant bit is used for enabling the D multiplexer. Then least significant bit C and B used for selection line of the 1 is to 4 D multiplexer. Right. Right. So it is given here. Connect the selection lines B and C to select the line of S1 and S0 of the both the D multiplexer respectively. Right. Now we will go to the step 3. The connect most significant bit that is A such that when A equal to 0 D max 1 is enabled. Because A is equal to 0 means it is given in inverted. In by using the NOT gate. So A equal to 0 means D max 1 is enabled. When A equal to 1, D max 2 is enabled. Right. So now we decided the input. D in given to both the multiplexer. Selection line B and C. Enabling the D max is A. Right. So based on that now we will go to the diagram. So this is the logic diagram. So this is first D max 1 is to 4 D max 1. This is next D max 1 is to 4 D max 2. We are using 2 1 is to 4 D max. Right. So this is the corresponding output y0, y1, y2, y3. Similarly y4, y5, y6 and y7. There are 8 outputs. So that we will get 1 is to 8 output. So that D in is the signal, input signal that is given to the D max 1 as well as D max 2. The input D in is given to both the D max, right? And the selection line. This is three selection line for one is to eight multiplexer. In that, in for but for, but for one is to four D multiplexer, we need only two selection lines. So that the first one, most significant bit is used for enabling the D max, right? If A is given through the NOT gate, let's say. So if A equal to zero. Here it become 1, so D max 1 will be enabled. A equal to 1 means here 0, D max 1 will be disabled. 
this one is applicable applied to the second d max so if a equal to 1 a equal to 1 means d max 2 will be enabled right so the signal a used to for enabling the d max either 1 or 2 this b and c is connected as a selection line for 1 is to 4 d max b is connected as s1 c is connected as s0 right so input is given to both the dmax the most significant line signal a used for enabling the dmax b and c used for selection line of dmax 1 and 2 both dmax 1 and 2 it is a selection line right so what will happen if it is dmax 1 is enabled it is 0 0 means we will get y naught as a output 0 1 means y1 as a output 1 0 means y2 as a output 1 1 means y3 as a output similarly here at a time only one dmax will be enabled another dmax will be disabled right so based on that we will go to the truth table now we will see the truth table so the, this is the truth table of the 1 is to 8 multiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer let us see the 3 selection lines a b c 3 inputs of 3 selection line of the 1 is to 8 demultiplexer in that a used to for enable s1 and s2 used as b and c b and c used as s1 and s0 as a selection lines right so this is the 8 outputs a y0 y1 y2 y3 y5 y4 y5 y6 and y7 right 1 is to 8 outputs are available right if the enable the signal a enable is 0 0 means the dmax 1 will be enabled because it is given through the NOT gate. So dmax 1 is enabled that is we will get the output from y0 to y3 that is a equal to 0. At the time dmax 2 will be disabled dmax 2 is disabled will not get any, get any output. See this when a is 0 this y0 to y3 will get the output. This y4 to y5 and all are zeros. This is dmax2 is disabled. Only dmax1 is enabled. In that, if it is b and c is 0, 0 mean the out data available in y0. 0, 1 means data available in y1. 1, 0 mean data available in y2. 1, 1 means data available in y3. Right? So, we will get the data y0, y1, y2, y3. These are all zeros all outputs are zeros right then if it is enable is one what will happen dmax2 will be enabled dmax1 will be disabled so that will get the output from y4 to y7 when a equal to one see this dmax1 is totally disabled all are zeros dmax2 is enabled in that again it is zero zero the selection line zero zero mean will get the output in y4 if it is 0 1 we will get the output in y5 1 0 will get the output in y6 1 1 means we will get the output in y7 so we are getting the output from y4 y5 y6 and y7 these are all zeros right so by seeing the complete truth table see that we got the output from y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 so this is the eight different outputs right so we are getting the output of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer by using the 1 is to 4 2 demultiplexer this is the total output of the 1 is to 8 demultiplexer having only one input with two selection lines one is used for enable another two used for the selection line right so first to four output dmax1 is enabled 2 is disabled remaining four outputs dmax1 is disabled dmax2 is enabled so that we are getting the corresponding inputs from y0 to y7 so in this video we discuss how to design the 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using 2 1 is to 4 demultiplexer subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.